Good evening, it's Stephanie with Lady B Craft. So I just wanted to make a really quick video um, just to kind of talk about the silhouette mats for a second. So I just wanted to know, I'm in the midst right now of printing and cutting my children's um, a couple of pieces for their invitations as you can see. But what I wanted to know is I have um, cut out, print and cut, approximately I think a little bit more but I'm just going to give you the I know number of about 163 um, cuts in this last week between the bases for the invitations and the print and cuts that I'm working on right now and between um, this one and this one these two mats and as you can see if I touch it it's still sticky I have cut 163 probably plus this is a brand new one I just opened today so I can run more mats than just the two but I've been alternating between this one and this one so these two right here for these 163 cuts and and I used them prior to this particular um, project so between these two mats they are still sticky this is a silhouette mat not like a cricket mat because of course I have a cricket air as well and the mats just don't hold up as well and if I hold it up a little bit you might be able to see if I hold it up against the machine see there's little black fuzzes and a little bit of hair on it all kinds of extra little things because of course I was also cutting um black cardstock so some of the remnants are still on the mat but again it's still sticky and I found that using the cricket mats um, they would not hold up as well and as long. I could never get 160 some odd cuts out of a Cricut mat. So anyway, they are certainly worth the money. Still, still sticky. Still sticky. Of course, I do use um, a little brayer here if I when I come to mats like these because, of course, they're older and a little less tacky as a brand new one, but they still stick nonetheless. Look at my finger is still stuck on that. And this, like I said, is after 160 something that I know of, not including the print and cuts that I did before I started working on their invitation so these mats have really had the runaround and they are still going so I did this little video like I said just to kind of show you that these silhouette mats are certainly worth um, the money that you spend and by the way one silhouette mat is $14.99 in contrast to when you buy Cricut match they're two to a pack and they're $14.99 ish $16.99 it all depends on where you get them from so, and by the way, for any of those of you who have a silhouette and you go to Hobby Lobby, you can use the 40% off coupon on silhouette products because I recently was in Hobby Lobby and got a silhouette um, cutting needle just to have more because I like to have things in abundance um, so I don't run out of things while I'm in the middle of a project. And I also got a silhouette mat from there and the young lady let me use a 40% off coupon too. So. I don't know if it was a screw up, but the first time I would say yes, but to go the second time and have her not to even blink an eye and use the coupon, just in case you're wondering. So if the silhouette items are not on sale, break out that 40% off coupon. So anyway, this is Stephanie with Lady B Craft, and I just wanted to stop in to give you a quick review on my silhouette mats. Okay, have a wonderful evening. Please be sure to like my videos, subscribe to my channel, please spread the word, share with friends, um, because I will be doing some very, very interesting things on my channel. Um, it might take me a little bit longer because, you know, I do still work full time, but um, as much as I can get in here and upload, I certainly will because I love to craft and share with you. Have a great night. Bye-bye.